Hi, thank you for tuning in. In our previous video, I have shown you how to access your class notebook when added as a guest in MS Teams. If you have not seen the video yet, the video link can be found in the description section below. This time, we will focus on exploring one of the basic features of OneNote, specifically that of student private space. Our main objective are as follows. First, is I'm going to show you how to add sections in your OneNote notebook. Second, how to add and name pages in your OneNote notebook, and lastly, briefly discuss the home, insert, and draw features of the OneNote notebook app. The OneNote app is just as functional as your typical physical notebook, but with a few other perks and conveniences. Organizing your notes to help you ace your exams would never have been easier. Please take note that for this video, I will be using the desktop app. OneNote is also available in your mobile devices and you can also open it using a browser. Let us open first our class notebook. Notice that we are already in our class notebook and to navigate to our personal space assigned to us by our teacher, we just simply have to navigate to the section with a label with our name. By clicking that one, it will the page will direct you to your own personal space. Notice that in this particular section of the class notebook, there are already existing six sections provided by our teacher. But what if you wish to add more sections? To do that, you just simply have to navigate and find this plus sign next to the last section. By clicking that one, it will automatically generate a new section for you. Notice that it's labeled as new section 1. To change the name or rename this section, we just simply have to double click and type the new name that we wish to assign to this particular section. For example, reflection. So we have ready we have just added a new section and we have just renamed it. Now let's try to right click this, this new section and let's see other options that we can do to it. By right clicking, you see here you can actually rename it export, delete, move or copy, move into another section, copy link to section, new section, new section group, password protect this section. This is one of the amazing things that I really like about OneNote is that you can actually set a password for this particular section so that you will be the only one to see its content. And the last option is that you can actually change the color of this particular section. Say for example, we want to change the color to yellow. Notice that this particular section is now changed to color yellow. Other things that you can do to this particular section is that you can actually drag, drag it to anywhere you want so that you can place it either on the first part of your class notebook or at the last part of your class notebook. There you go. So notice that the class section is now, the new class section is now located at the last part of my personal space or personal private space as a student. So I have just shown you how to add a section and what are the other things that you can do to that particular section. Now let's proceed to the second objective. How do you, you actually add a page? To do that, let's go to the Navigate to the section labeled with class notes. This is where you typically put your notes or note, uh, content that you your teacher discuss in a particular learning session. So how do you, since this is already has a name, this particular section has a name, where do you actually find the pages? The pages in the desktop app can be found at the rightmost part. You can see here that this particular section has an, an, an untitled page. So where is that page? That is this one. See here, so this is the untitled page. Notice that how do you actually put a title to this particular page? For example, the title of this one is Motion Along the Horizontal. Or to put it simply, let's just say Describing Motion. So we have just named this particular page Describing Motion. Notice that I have just shown you how to name the page. Now, 
what if we want to add a new page? We're just going to simply navigate on top of the page that we just named. Just click on Add Page. And notice that a new page will automatically generate it just below our previous page. And we're just simply going to name it again. Say, for example, describing motion, we use accelerate speed versus velocity. And another, another page, say, for example, distance, distance, oops, sorry, versus displacement. All right, so we have just created three pages inside this particular section, class notes. So that's how you actually add a page in a particular section in your class notebook. Now that's similar to what we did to the section that we created earlier. Let's try to right click this particular page and see what are the options provided to us by OneNote. Notice that it has again the option rename delete a particular page, cut, copy, paste, copy link to page, move or copy, new page, mark as unread. So these are the things that you can actually do to this particular page. Now let's move on. Now that we have just shown you how to actually add a section, change its color, change its name, and similar to how to add a page and name it. Now let's proceed in giving a brief descri description or discussion about the home insert and draw in this particular OneNote notebook app. Now let's start first with home. Your typical home is just similar to how you see it in um, other productivity tools such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But for OneNote, it has the addition of the following. Notice that for this home to be activated, notice that I cannot actually do something aside from cut and copy. I have to click in that particular page describing motion. So I know that you are already familiar with these options over here. You can try, let's try to change this one into bold and idealized and you want to put some line in it. So these particular options is nothing new to you since these are the particular options or the same options that you use in other productivity tools. Now what's, what uh, you can actually do in OneNote is that you can add this one, the tags. For example, describing motion. Um, say for example, you want to, we want to put a tag important. And it is a statement, this, there, there's a statement given to, in, into your class that motion is relative. And you just want to, to take note that this particular, this particular statement is important. So you can actually put a tag important in this one. And say for example, you want to put a tag remember for later. So we do that, remember for later, um, say for example, you want to, so check or read page 30 in my physics book, physics book. And you want to put a tag here that is Remember for later. So this yellow yellow highlight here means that this is a reminder for you for later. So that's how you actually use your your tags. So the, if you navigate to the tags, you can see here that there are actually a lot of tags that you can use in your notebook. So this is very, very perfect if you want to customize, personalize your own private notebook. You can also customize the tags. 
if you want to add a new tag or modify a tag, you can do that by customizing the tag. You can also try to put a to-do. Say, for example, say, write, read my notes. One thing that is very important here, I want you to take note that if you actually use the to-do tag, you can actually check the box here to indicate that you're done already with that particular task. So that's how you actually use the tag. You can search tags here in home. And one thing that is very helpful about this particular page that you can do in home is that you can actually email this particular page without sending the whole content of the notebook itself. So for example, say you have an assignment and your teacher actually requires you to submit that particular assignment and you put that into your class notes under the section class notes page describing motion you can actually email that particular page to your teacher by not sending the whole content of your class notebook itself so that's all for the home now let's move on to insert in insert the first option here is actually you can actually insert space and what does it does you can actually insert or remove extra space in your notebook so this is one way that you can do if you want to lay out the note, the notes, um, the way that you wanted that what the way that you wanted them to be. You can either click and drag down to make space for more notes, or click and drag up to remove the space. So this this function will be very helpful, especially if you are trying to lay out your notebook or that particular page in the way that it is more appealing to you. And of course, just similar to any other productivity tools, you can actually also insert tables in class notes. I will not be showing this one anymore since, um, since you are already familiar with how the table works in other productivity tools. Now, I would like to emphasize here is actually insert file printout and insert file attachment. I'm going to show you how what's the difference between the two. So for example, I'm still under the page describing motion. Now I, what I want to do is actually file attach. If I click on that one, I'm going to choose a file from my desktop. So for example, this one. file attach all right see so now you can actually drag drop this file wherever you want this to be so that's how you actually insert a file notice that it will just insert a file with the logo of what kind of file that was so this in in this case it's actually a word file now what's the difference when I actually try to file print out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same file and wait for a bit. There you go. See? So notice that the difference is that in this particular file attachment option, you just attach the file and this particular file is when you click on this one, it will direct you or it will link you to where the file is saved and you can open it at, at some point you can actually it will pop up and open but for file printout notice that it will give you the logo of what kind of file is that it's a word file and it will also paste or insert a printout of that particular file so that's how amazing one note insert file printout and insert file attachment is and that's how uh, the two actually differ. Let's try to undo. Or let's just simply try to delete this one. There's no option to delete. I can just cut. Okay, I'll just cut. Alright, so next is actually insert spreadsheet. Now, this is actually pretty obvious because say for example, you are working, you and your classmates are working on a, a given data set and you wish to collaborate with one another 
and you, it so happened that the data set is encoded in spreadsheet so you can actually insert a spreadsheet in one node there's no problem with that let's try to click it so you can either try to insert an existing excel sheet or you can also insert a new excel spreadsheet now this is pretty much this is very convenient especially if you are working with very large amount of data and this particular data has to be um, processed and of course you know that there are some formulas and functions in spreadsheets that are very very helpful especially when analyzing data you can also in, in one note app you can also insert a screen clipping or similar to a screenshot and you can also insert pictures saved from your device but if you have access to the World Wide Web, you can also insert online pictures or online videos. Next is the links. You can actually try to, for example, describing motion. Motion is relative. Motion is relative. Say, for example, you wish to you can highlight this one. You can actually try to insert a link and provide here a link address so where can you find that particular um, the, the URL of the of the website that you wish to open upon clicking this whole term motion is relative say for example just for the purpose of demonstration only the physics sorry let's just try physics classroom go and click ok so notice that this particular term already is linked to physics classroom so that's how you actually put an insert in the um, in your OneNote app then other, other than in putting or inserting links you can also insert a, re a record audio record video if you wish to insert date and time so for example we, we wish to insert date okay now take note that it's automatically generated now let's try to delete this one how about time so you can also do that as well notice that the date and time setting is um, based on the date and time setting in your laptop let's try to delete that both date and time you can also do that let's try to delete that and of course page templates notice that if you click on the page templates it will provide you with different options or templates that you can actually use in your own personal notebook there are actually a lot of options here that you can use. I suggest that you explore them given the given your own personal and private time. Next is of course is the equation and symbol. We will now we will not discuss this in, in, in detail since these two particular options is also available in other productivity tools like PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. And I wish and I hope that you are already familiar in how to use equations and symbols. They are pretty much the same here in OneNote app. Now let's move on to the draw option. Notice that in this particular option, there are actually a lot of choices that you can do in your personal space using the drawing tool. In this particular, for the first option is when you want to wish to type or select. The laser select is if you if the edges of the particular shape that you want to select is not defined or indefinite. If you for the planning hand, planning hand is if you want to drag up and down a particular page. Of course, the eraser. There are different sizes of strokes of the eraser, and this particular option here. I actually. Uh, love this particular option because of the number of available pens different colors available for me and of course the highlighters now if you wish to change the 
the size of the pen you can actually just click on color and thickness and choose the thickness of the pen that you want if you are you want to use a pen or you want to you shift to a hi highlighter you know you can actually do that here just click OK and another thing that you can do, do and draw is you can actually also draw lines arrows directional arrows double arrows basic shapes graphs and you can also lock a drawing mode or lock drawing mode this is basically helpful if you are using your um, again a graphic pad or a device that has stylus in it notice that the, the drawing option also have this particular um, icon the insert space this is very very handy for example if you want to move or provide space or delete a particular an extra space which you believe you don't need this is very handy a range is simply you can put forward or backward a particular drawing or image that this is where you you do that you bring them forward you bring them to front send them backward you send them to back this is where you do that and lastly for the draw is the ink to mat let's try for example um, a particular equation that we, we wish to write, for example, is V is equal to minus VO is equal to 80. Right there. So notice that what ink to math does is that as I write my equation here, using a freehand mouse, it actually convert that equation into a mathematical equation. And I can just simply insert that to anywhere in my note and I can just drag and drop where I want to put this particular equation in my notes. So if you, do, you, don't, if you find it hard to navigate and use the insert equations, you can just actually use the draw and ink to math if you are having limited time in copying those so many equations being shown by your teacher on the screen all right so i guess we will stop here so that's it we're done with our three objectives we have as a recall i have just shown you how to add a particular section rename it and edit that particular section and we have just shown you as well how to name a page and add a page and lastly we have just given you a brief description of what you can find in home insert and draw in your OneNote notebook app